Right outside the Murray Street exit from Perth Underground Station lie the central bus stands in the CBD for north-south bus services on William Street. William Street bus stands are the central bus stops for north-south bus services in the Perth CBD. There is a total of eight, four on each side of the road. Here we will start with stand 4, which services routes 41, 42, 48 and 55, which all travel along Guildford Road to various destinations. Together they form a high frequency corridor down Guildford Road, especially in peak periods. The next stand is for Route 980, a high frequency service to Morley bus station, as well as the 66 limited stop service travelling on the alignment of the 950 to Morley bus station during peak periods. The next stand is for the 950 itself, which is the most frequent and busiest route in Perth, so it has its own stand here, stand number 6. There is currently a disruption label on it because the, there's going to be some Christmas pageant disruptions which I made a whole video about when this happened so I'll link you to that in the corner because this was ages ago so yeah it's <laughs> very old sign but that's the only outdated thing here finally we have stand 1 over there which is for routes 30, 31 and 34 to Perth Busboard. Also here you can see the e-ink on the back of the bus stop 3 minutes, 4 minutes, 11 minutes, 13 minutes, 15 minutes, 16 minutes so many services The time is 4.28pm Route 9, 50 to Morley Bus Station departs in 2 minutes Route 9, 50 to Morley Bus Station departs in 3 minutes Route 9, 50 to Morley Bus Station departs in 11 minutes Thank you. Nope, I don't know what that glitch was, but that's pretty repetitive when it has to say the same things. But look at this, they even put the disruption information onto the e-ink, that's very cool. So it's got that e-ink there to just display lifetimes with the very frequent services. And yeah, here is stand one as I was saying, which all these services only go one more stop in the free transit zone over to Perth Busport. These are the three routes which connect between Elizabeth Key Bus Station and Perth Busport directly which here it actually says it takes five minutes even though unless it's very congested otherwise it's like one <laughs> um, and there's also the blue cat but that doesn't go through here and then this is Hay Street already so I've just walked between Murray and Hay Street which is actually a section of the road which the PTA a long time ago in like 2014 said they will eventually make a bus and pedestrian only zone so general traffic won't be able to go through but that still hasn't gone ahead, they only made some modifications to the lanes around here and nothing else, so yeah, we're, we're not going to see anything anytime soon about that, I think. Now here we are on the other side of the road, this is stand, uh, sorry, this is stand 1, what was I saying, before we were at stand 7 on the other side, this is stand 1, for routes 950 and 980, both down to Elizabeth Key bus station but then obviously 950 keeps going to Queen Elizabeth the second medical center now behind here we actually have the cat bus stop which used to be for the blue and red cat now it's only for the red cat but it doesn't have a stand number but I'm just gonna call this stand zero because it's located before stand one um, yeah just right here and services the red cat both the West Perth loop and the full circuit it's cat ID 86 so yeah, that's basically the eighth stand here. Now, one important thing to note is that the road that you see here, the William Street Road, yeah, that button doesn't work, um, has actually been completely resurfaced recently in June 2023 to asphalt. So it is no longer stones like that. So everything you see here with the stone road, that's that's outdated. It is not like that anymore. It is now normal asphalt. Okay, here we are at stand 2 as well, which is for, again, the Guildford Road services all to Elizabeth Key bus station as well as 66 to Elizabeth Key bus station here. 
And then finally the last end here is for the 30, 31 and 34 as I was saying before in the other direction which go to Curtin University bus station, Salter Point and Cannington station respectively. We also have the tourist bus stop here um, for the double decker tourist bus operating which is right in front of the other stop because yeah, it just stops in the same spot anyway. And then right there is St. George's Terrace which is the end of this section of William Street here and the buses then just keep going down the hill and the next stop is Elizabeth Key straight after that. Okay, just here at the very northern part of William Street before Wellington Street there's actually a taxi hail button where you can press it and it alerts taxis you want a taxi and also at the William Wellington intersection you can see the solid line there for buses to stop is so far behind the intersection to allow buses going south to make the turn the sharp turn there to go along the road without crashing so they have to stop so far back from the intersection which I believe is the only intersection in Perth where there's that much gap for the buses that have to stop back and also that's the right turn lane which is only permitted for buses other vehicles cannot turn right at that intersection so there isn't even more congestion there yeah, anyway now we'll just watch some buses along here I'm just gonna give a quick rating of this even though it's not a station so there's obviously gonna be no facilities but it's still gonna get a rating which is going to be three stars it does well in serving this central area with the eight bus stands good spreading out of the routes and all the different groups of routes at the different stands but I am annoyed that they haven't made it a bus only zone yet and it gets really congested at times because of this and at the traffic light sometimes it takes five minutes to get through which you'll see later in the bus clips you see the same buses for quite a period of time sitting there so that's pretty annoying and I think they should put e-ink on all the bu bus stands here not just the 951 because it's one of the busiest uh, zones definitely to in the CBD and it's basically like the bus interchange of Perth Underground Station not really but like you go out on the street and there are the buses so it, yeah it like it sort of is and that's why it definitely needs some improvements
this is just what this William Street bus area looks like in the night during Christmas. You can see all the lights and the tall buildings. All the way down here and down here. This music is probably gonna get copyright infringed. Whoops. 